Hey, it's uh, mid-October 2022. It's been nearly two years since I put up the uh, top rail mast, and I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately, so I figured I'd do a quick video. I apologize for this being an up-and-down video instead of a full-screen video, but it's the only way I can really get pictures of these things. Um, this is the end pole. Um, it's going out to work on the garden a bit today. I was going to till it, make it a bit bigger, and I figured I might as well kill some time by doing a quick video here. Um, the end mast is basically one piece of top rail and one full piece of one and a quarter PVC. You can see it's got some good flex on it there, um, which is fine. It's been that way for two years almost. And we got paracord running up to an eye ring, which then we get into things that you just plain can't see. Um, basically connected off to the end of the uh, the dipole. Let's see if I can go this way here. Actually, I'm just going to walk you this way, and I apologize because I'm probably not going to take the time to edit this. So you'll have to deal with me walking for a second. And there is the mast, still standing strong. Let me get the dimness there. There we go. All right, so there's the mast. It is still doing fine. Balance still up there. And you can see it's got a bit of flex on the top, which is a good thing because that's what keeps it uh, keeps it up. It doesn't bend. It doesn't break. It just bends. Apologize. We got some dog and chicken activity going on behind me here. And just want to get a bit closer because I had some questions about the what type of pipe I used to mount this into. And I also had some questions regarding isn't the pipe just going to rot out? Um, in the original video, I'm, there, if you can see that screw down there, um, I didn't mention that, but obviously people don't watch the entire video. So the actual mast is not going all the way down to the ground. That cross bolt there is stopping the mast uh, at that level. That was done mainly to preserve height. Um, as far as what size this pipe is, I'm assuming it's a one and a half, um, but it's your standard uh, fence post, basically. And there we go. And it's going to back up a bit here. So it is still holding on strong. And as far as the other end, I never actually got around to putting in another end pole because I managed to just tie it off. And pardon me, walking downstairs and filming at the same time. I get a nice tour of my property too here. I need to do some brush hogging on this side. <laughs> uh, Again, not sure if this is going to focus. I'm pretty sure it isn't. But the end of the other end of the dipole is about 15 to 20 feet off the ground. And it's just tying down to an old telephone pole down here. Again, I'm not sure why I'm showing you this because you can't see anything. But the way it is connected... The way it is connected, it is does have the end piece a good 15 feet off the ground. It should be center screen if it will focus. It's kind of gray and cloudy today. I thought it would do better for filming, but maybe not. And again, the mast is still strong. These uh, dipole wires, they seem to act sort of as guidelines, or at least counteracting each other. And you may be able to see the feed line as it drops in trying to adjust brightness there it goes I can see it a little bit so but yeah it's still working fine after two years um, hasn't fallen over hasn't even really flexed that much um, it's doing good so that's all I got for you I'm gonna let you go and uh, stop postponing uh, rototill in the garden y'all have a good one